Weather Authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We get some great pictures sent in by our viewers, and I wanted to show you this one sent in by Margie. This was taken in LaPorte, Indiana. Those are alto cumulus clouds. Very, very pretty picture out there. And, of course, we've got a lot of the snow pictures and snowmen that were built and all that good stuff. So thank you, Margie, for sending in that picture. We do see some better weather on the way as far as a warming trend. Going to start to melt some of the snow, but it's going to be around for a while. We only hit... 28 for the high today and 19 for the low. There you can see the averages of 39 and 23 and the records for this day. As far as precipitation, we didn't get anything today really over the weekend either. The whole big storm ended late last week, but already just a few days in, we're already exactly where we should be for the month. And we're going to get more active again by the second half of the month. So it's going to be another month where we see above normal precipitation. Last month was cold and dry. This month, I think, is going to be pretty active again. River stage in Terre Haute, good news after all that precipitation. A lot of it is locked up in ice, so it hasn't gone into the river. Eight and a half feet on the current stage, 16.5 is the flood stage in the Terre Haute area. So here's what it looks like now as we take you out to the Terre Haute area. We're going to be tracking things tonight, including cold tonight, warmer tomorrow, mostly dry week, and then colder again with the weekend. But overall, basically a fairly quiet weather pattern, at least for the next few days. I think it's going to get active again, though, after the middle part of the month. At the airport in Terre Haute, we're 22 right now. Winds are pretty light. Northeast only at 3 miles per hour, so there's no real wind chill. The pressure's at 30.26. Temperatures across here, pretty cold. 17 a pair, 16 up in Crawfordsville. Most everybody else in the low to mid-20s. The wind is not real strong, though. Coming in from the west-northwest, 3, 4, 5 miles per hour, so the wind not a big factor tonight. On the water vapor satellite, basically dry air in place here. There's nothing really big going on along the eastern seaboard. We have a little bit of some shower activity all the way from New York City down to the Gulf Coast. But again, even that. Nothing major going on. The country is pretty quiet today. Here's what it looks like locally. There's just not much out there. We're basically looking at clear skies, and it's going to stay that way overnight. We don't have anything on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, which got a workout last week, all clean out there today. So here we go. As we take you through the rest of the overnight hours, we're going to be talking about basically some cloud cover here and there, and then eventually we're going to start to see maybe a few more clouds for part of the day tomorrow. But overall, we're looking pretty dry. Can't rule out a sprinkle or a snowflake as we get into the day Wednesday. That's a front coming in, and that's going to knock the temperatures back some as we head into Thursday. But as you can see, basically it looks pretty dry. Again, maybe a sprinkle out there or a snow flurry late in the day on Wednesday. The wind, it's going to change around and come in from the south tomorrow, pick up a little bit. That'll allow us to warm up. However, eventually by Wednesday, with the high behind that front, we'll go back to the west, and that uh, brings in some colder air by about Thursday, it looks like, and kind of cools us off a little bit. So let's take a longer look now, seven-day precipitation. I don't see anything until we get out to about Friday with the front moving in right there with a few showers, and that's going to knock the temperature back as we get into the Saturday-Sunday time period, but then overall still pretty dry. But I think it's going to get busy. We talked about this the other day, about between the 15th and the 18th or so. So watch what happens here. Watch the date. Here's Feb 14, 15. Here we go, 16. Here comes the next storm into about 17 and 18. So we got to watch this time period right here as we get into about the 15th to the 18th the possibility of the next storm. Could be a decent sized storm headed our way. Here's your forecast for tonight then. Temperatures will drop down to about 9 degrees, partly cloudy skies. During the day tomorrow, how about this? We warm up with some sunshine and a south breeze. A high temperature hitting about 43. And then after that, temperatures will stay pretty mild as we take you into midweek, turning a little bit cooler as we head into Wednesday. Warms up on Friday, but cold again by the weekend. High Saturday and Sunday, near 30. Grant. Hey, thanks, Jesse. A big